So today I have broke out the Naked 2 palette. Now this one's worse for the wear. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know why, but I've had it for about a year and they're all coming out. But I love this palette. You can get some great looks with it. And today I did this with it. I did this look for those who are looking for a nice work look or more of a natural look because not always can you go around rocking hot pink eyeshadow or plum purple smoky eye. I don't know. I would. But there's, there is some cases, I guess. So for those who are looking for a nice natural look, then this is it. Stay tuned and watch. Okay, like normal, I prep my face with First Aid Beauty's Ultra Repair Cream. I already placed the Professional by Benefit on my cheekbones and my nose. And I applied Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion on my eyelids. And I used the Blistex Lip Medics on my lips. Now we're going to start off with the Naked 2 by Urban Decay. Unfortunately, some of mine are like worse for the wear. But we're going to start in, going in with the color Foxy. Work that into your crease, up to your brow bone. Give yourself a nice base so it's easy to blend out darker shades. Now today we are going to be doing a more of a work look. Not that I know what that is. Just kidding. I worked a little bit. After my kids were a bit older while I was going to college. So I'm going to go in next with the color Tease. I like this shade. It works really good as a transition shade. And just work this into the crease. This is one of my favorites. This is one of my go-to colors in this palette. And just work it in to your crease. Can you hear that? It's my cat making weird noises. Just blend it out with this Sedona Lace 217. Next, I am going in with the Sedona Lace 305 and I'm going to go in with Booty Call and just place that on my lid. Now, if you don't want a shimmery lid, you can go instead with Foxy. So that your lid won't be so shimmery for work. I just like the way that the glitter looks against the darker crease. And just blend that edge in. Make sure they blend well and no harsh line. And do your other eye the same way. And blend the edge. Now for me, I like a little bit darker crease, so I'm going to go back in with a little bit more tease. And just deepen up that crease just a little bit more. <laughs> and just keep working it in until you get it the way you want. Next, I am using my Dior Skin Nude Foundation in 022. 
I think it's called Cameo, I do believe. Just squirt a couple squirts on the back of my hands. And then I'm going to work that into my skin. And today I'm just using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. You can get these at Walmart, Amazon, I think Target has them. Just about anywhere nowadays. Don't forget to get over to your ear so you don't look like you're wearing a mask. Because you want this to look more natural. Of a look. So you don't want people to be able to tell that you're wearing a bunch of foundation. Don't forget to go down your neck also. You can go over your ears, especially if your foundation isn't a perfect match and you don't want your ears different colored than your foundation. Now once you have that done, you can go in with your concealer. I'm using the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NW15. Just put a small squirt on the back of my hands. Use my finger to apply it. Now remember, if you don't have these same products, you, there's always substitutions. These are great, great products I use, but there's always, you don't necessarily have to buy the higher end products if you can't afford it. People tend to forget about that part. I'm going to go in with the Sedona Lay 618 and buff it in. Especially around below my lash line and around my nose. Same way on the other side. Just buff out all the edges and make sure you get it as smooth as possible and blend it out. Then I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. I'm going to use the Sedona Lace 224. And I'm going to use this for underneath my eyes and around my nose. You want to set this concealer as quick as possible so that you don't end up creasing it. Try to remember to go from outer to the inner when you're finished so that it has less likely chance of creasing also. Sometimes I forget but I don't think mine creases that bad. I guess it depends upon what type of eye shape you have. I'm going to go into flower powder brush and I'm going to set the rest of my face. Since we're doing more of a natural look, I'm going to use Benefit's Gimme Brow today. 
I like the way this looks. I think it gives a more of a natural appearance compared to when you're drawing on your brows. But they do give your brows more, more of a slightly filled in, fuller look. Which is not overly done. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you want to go in with a drawn on brows at work, go for it. But I'm trying to stick with a more of a natural appearance. Not in your face. Makeup wearing. There. Staying on the theme of natural, I am using the Milani Liquid Eye Liner Pencil in brown. I think it's just brown. Yeah, 05 brown. I'm going to line my top waterline. So I'm going to lift my lid up so that I can see the base of my lashes. And I'm just going to work this in at the base of my lashes. By doing that, it'll make your lashes look fuller. And just repeat on the other side. Now, you can stick it. Now, you can stay with this look here where it's just your upper waterline, or you can go in and smudge right at the base of the top of your lashes. So just go in and get as close as you can to the base. And then go in with like an angle brush or a pencil brush and just smudge that out. To give it more of a daytime work appearance, I'm going to go in with the Rimmel Scandal Eyes. And I'm going to lower, lower, I am going to line the lower lash line. This will give you a wide open, wide awake look to your eye versus closing it in with a darker eyeliner. It won't be so in your face. Next, go in with your eyelash curler and curl those lashes. Now, here you can go in with your mascara. You can go in with a brown mascara if you want a more of a natural looking look, or go in with your black. Unfortunately, I only use black. I only buy black. I don't own any brown. So I am going in with black. And just coat your lashes. By coating your lashes it will open your eye up even further. I think big lashes on a natural look is just beautiful. Today I am using the Benefit Cheeky Sweet Spot. It was part of their holiday collection at Sephora. I'm not sure if you can get it anywhere else. I know Sephora was carrying it, but last time I looked they were out. So I'm going to go in using, today I will use the Sedona Lace 847. And I'm going to go in with the Hula Bronzer. And I am going to do my contour. 
Now you don't want to go over the top with the contour because you're staying with a more of a natural look, as says the person who is applying a heap of it. Why does that always work out that way? And you're like, just a little bit. You can go in with your powder brush and lighten it up. Blend it out. You can always skip this method if you don't like to contour. But I like the way that it gives you an instant five pound weight loss. Which is always good when you're in the public eye working and stuff. Then I'm going to go in with, it's a Sephora brush that I bought with the Hula and apparently I'm going to hit my stuff. And I'm going to contour top of my forehead, down my temple, and down my neck. Do the same thing to the other side. And just blend. Blend your bronzer up towards your cheek, not down. Because you want this part from your jawline to your contour to be the shade of your foundation. Because you want that always to be lighter. And just blend it all out. Once you do that, I'm going to go in with the MAC 129. I'm going to go in with Coralista. This is a really pretty peachy tone blush. I think it gives you a nice natural look without being too bleh or too over the top. Because I know we all have those blushes. Give you a nice sweep because you don't want to look like you're dead. That look is only good for Halloween and sometimes not even then. Then, once you get all that, you can go in with your highlighter. And I'll start off with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Gold. I'm going to use a Smashbox fan brush and I'm going to work that in the tops of my cheeks. You can go in with your powder brush and kind of buff it out a bit if you need to. I found the rose gold tends to be a little bit more intense with the pink tone compared to like the um, Moonstone. So if you're fairly pale, you may end up getting, pink, you know, be able to see the pink. So then I'm going to go in with Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. And I'm going to hit the inner corners of my eyes. I'm going to go in with the 773. And I'm going to hit right above my, uh, my eyeshadow. Below my brow, make sure you blend that into your crease color so there's no harsh line. Don't forget to hit right above your cupid's bow. So first I'm going to go in and remove the blistex off my lips. I'm going to go in with Milani, an all-natural lip pencil, and line my lips. Next, I'm going to go in with Matt's Matt. Next, I'm going to go in with Mac Cosmetics, kind of sexy. So this is a nice neutral.
And there we have today's natural look, work look, using the Naked 2 palette. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me thumbs up if you did. Subscribe so you know when my next one is coming up. You can follow me on Facebook to chat to let me know what you're looking for, products you would like me to use. You can follow me on Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, just about any social media. So until next video, bye.